moment of inspiration is once again coming to you from John Seeley's Get On Stuck. This is a small, simple, yet very effective book to help you kind of, you know, reflect in your life. Reflect where you're at right now in your life. How dedicated are you to yourself? Are there areas of your life and the various pillars of your life that you're stuck and you don't either realize that you're stuck or you don't know how to get unstuck? It's a marvelous little book that breaks down all the different components of, of things that we really need to look at about ourselves with respect to our self-esteem. Because self-esteem is, is the foundation of giving us the empowerment and the belief in ourselves to truly get out there and make the most of our lives, make the most of our individual world so that we can affect and touch other people's lives in their world. So today we're going to talk about your word. How well are you, how good are you at keeping your word? Your word is the key to how you feel about yourself. How many times have you broken your word? How many times each day do you break your word? How many times in the last 24 hours have you broken your word? Kind of an interesting question because probably off the top you think, oh, I, I always keep my word. But you know what? If you get really honest with yourself, um, I think you'd be surprised how many times you do throughout the course of the day break your word. And it could be simple things. It could be saying you're going to show up on time to meet somebody and being a few minutes late. Perhaps you're consistently late. Maybe that's just, just your habit, what you do, and people in your life have gotten used to it, or you know you use it as an excuse not to show up on time. Um, returning phone calls. You know, are there phone calls you told somebody that you called them back? Did you follow through? Did you call them back? It could just be the simplest of things. But the point that John stresses is, your word and how you keep it determines how you feel about yourself. The good thing is that every time you keep your word, your self-esteem goes up. And not keeping your word sometimes is a way of um, perhaps avoiding the fact that you're trying to strive to be perfect. And none of us will ever be able to accomplish that. So it's not about striving to be perfect. Sometimes people will avoid keeping their word as a way of um, not facing their fear. It's, it's an excuse. It's an outlet. There's a payoff of one sort or another. So, you know, what is the payoff for you? If you don't keep your word, you know, what is that about? Is it that, you know, you could scare yourself and and show up to be this incredibly marvelous, you know, amazing individual, and, and people are blown away by you, and, and so you're afraid to have that much attention brought into your life? Are you afraid if you really, really strive for your dreams and, and achieve everything that you've always desired, that you'll lose the people around you? People might judge you. People might judge you out of their own fear, because they might be jealous might not be able to have enough confidence in themselves to lovingly support and truly be happy for your success in, in whatever realm that could possibly be. So the reminder, the inspiration for today is just to let you know, you know, commitment is essential to achievement. Um, striving to do the best that you can. You know, you can choose what you give your word to, and you can choose how high you want your own self-esteem to be. Self-esteem is something that typically as adults, we don't hang around chatting about it with our friends very much. But it's a huge, huge component of truly being able, you know, not only to be able to reach all of your dreams and your desires and your passions, it also is part and parcel of really obtaining a place of inner peace. And when you have that place of inner peace, I mean, your life is incredible. So it's all part of the same thing. How amazing do you want your life to be? How amazing do you want to recognize who you are as a 
this beautiful gift of a human being that's graced the world. You are an incredible person. What's it going to take for you to recognize that in yourself? So these are Buddha's words. Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind, they can change our world. How are you willing to commit to yourself? How are you willing to commit to yourself to keeping your word? Spend some time thinking on it. I'm Nancy Batty, nancybatty.com, offering enlightenment through compassion and kindness. I hope you have a marvelous day. Come and check us out. See what we can do to help support your journey to a more expansive life. Love yourself first. Extend yourself to others.